The Triple F Collection requested to find a pure and authentic car restored in the highest regard by an award-winning restorer. And that immediately would be Mark Allen of Rare Drive in Kingston, New Hampshire. He and his highly talented team went above and beyond within the restoration process that took approximately two and a half years, literally obsessing over the finest details that no one would ever see. Miller Motor Cars has access to world-class examples of automobiles across any brand. The cars that we secure are secured on relationship and trust. We feel strongly that a car of this caliber will live a great life with a passionate family for many years to come. We know that they're going to drive it put many miles on it, laugh, have fun, and share it with all of you. There is no better home for this 1954 example. We hope that you all enjoy this powerful classic supercar. So this is a bare bones gull wing chassis. Uh, basically, the reason it isn't a gull wing is because the height of this. This is the bottom of the frame. This is where your door sill is. It's quite high. And they did that for strength, triangulation here. And you have to sit yourself down in the seat tub area. Your dashboard would be around here. Really an amazing chassis for its time. And it's very light. You could pick it up with one hand on this end. Uh, this chromoly tubing, metric size, very hard to find. <laughs> uh, two people can easily pick it up, like I said. 1954 gull wings have bolted on eyebrows. Now in 55, they started letting this seam, so you would, there would be just a nice coat of paint there. But in 54, they were only bolted on. And so they have this welting that is between the panel, the, the eyebrow and the body, and it's painted to match the uh, same color as the body. Um, it's one of the ways that you can tell a 54. This, uh, the side moldings have a, a unique clip that mounts it to the fender. Later cars do have these little covers, but only the 54s have them in the front as well. So this is actually a headlight ring for a Gullwing. And as you can see, it's made out of brass. Um, and so when, it, when, the, when the parts come in, it'll get stripped down, all the chrome will get stripped off of it, and all the copper, because copper is essentially body filler for chrome work. So it'll get stripped down, we'll take all the dents out of it, and then send it back, and they'll copper it. And, and depending on how, how much work it needs, how much blocking it needs, is how long they leave it in the copper tank. The, the biggest problem you always have with a rear bumper on a gull wing is somebody will tap it in the back and it'll bend the bar and the wings will hang out and this will be touching. So you can see where this is a nice consistent line that this is something that we've spent a lot of time uh, getting to fit just right. And then weld these bumper guards up so that when we put it up, that there's no gap on the rubber. So we have a nice tight it's fit. Perfect fitment. Yeah, there's a lot of time and effort put into making sure that you have a nice perfect fit on that gap. So one of the one of the aspects of doing this is that we have to use the correct hardware too, because these are the details. These are the things that, you know, anybody can go and buy brand new hardware, but the hardware that these cars came with, this is a, a 14 millimeter head instead of a 13 millimeter head because that was what they were made how they were made and so we save and we find and we we put all of the correct bolts back onto the car and we so these will all be sandblasted and sent out for replating black and durian it's what mercedes used so yeah every you know period correct obviously period correct screws proper finishes on the materials yes you know, you can't replicate anything like this. Absolutely. The, the, you know, the vendors or suppliers that made these pieces most likely are no longer in existence. No, and, no. Uh, and, 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 and because they don't make the 14 mil, mil head, millimeter heads anymore, they make them in 13. So you can, you'll, very often you'll find it's a correct company, but it was made later 
when they switch down to the, the smaller head size. It's quite uh, fascinating that yeah. you know they say a nut and bolt restoration, but and this is what that's what it actually that, means. That's truly what a nut and bolt restoration right. means. Thing uh, we have correct finishes. A lot of times you can find things because they do have belly pans, so a lot of the finishes uh, can be preserved, especially even on these uh, gloss. Like you'll find up close to the top where not much dust and not much uh, grime gets in there. Even if they've left the belly pans off, it can still be preserved. So you find that and you can clean it and power wash it, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, get a little bit of wax or whatever and see what kind of finish it is. And sure enough, it's gloss or it's semi-gloss. You know, so we a lot of painstaking time and effort through the many years of Mark finding a lot of this out early days. Um, what finishes? Each thing gets uh, the frame itself, the differential, the backing plates, the springs. There's a lot of different finishes and textures that we can get. These panels make up each of that, of those grills. Just the grill, just the star rather. Not the, necessarily the whole grill because there's more to it. Big surround pieces, big wings. But each of those fit together to make this. So there's an inner panel, an outer panel, the star, the ring, and then there's a back piece. And all those have to fit and lock within each other and then get bolted together. It's very intricate, very tough. And then you put the, the wings on and then they all have to be fitted to the surround. And then that whole section gets fitted to the car. And it's quite a long process to do. It sounds complex, but the beauty of the grill is Iconic. Oh, it is. And if you look carefully along the side profile, it's got a curve. It's multi curves to it, like curves this way and this way. Very unique. For this time period, direct fuel injection, fuel injection in general is insane, but direct fuel injection, which we still have a big deal about now, nowadays, it, you know, Audi's advertising direct fuel injection on a lot of their cars. So it's a pretty amazing feature for back in the 50s. We take the body off the frame to restore, so that we can restore the frame as, as you saw in the other room. And then the body we will take care of and then at some point they'll be put back together. With this, you can also see that the structure of the car, it's a very tough, sturdy body, but it's in no way part of the chassis. The chassis is a completely separate thing. The engine, the drivetrain, everything you can actually drive that chassis without the body on it. This luggage is so oh, yeah. beautiful and uh, in plain sight from the exterior of the car and the interior, it's a focal point. Mm -hmm. And it so beautifully nestles into this little section here as it's strapped down. Yeah. And it's two very large cases. It's um, truly fitted luggage too. Okay. So we want to lift up and then pull it out and then across to you. Okay. Quality and the weight of it is um, is impressive. It's um, something interesting to feel, but to touch all the metal and the quality of the leather and the thickness and depth mm -hmm. of it is. It's a beautiful detail for the Gullwing, and obviously set a big trend for fitted yeah. luggage for cars today. Mm -hmm. It's a you know a big business in a sense, and beautiful detail that manufacturers such as Ferrari or Pagani and mm -hmm. Aston Martin, Rolls, Bentley, they all follow the trend of luggage. Um, we're, we're pretty fond of that. So you've got this little subtle curves here and there, but if you look on the bottom, which we'll turn, it has little, little nubs that fit inside the cups of the other one. So it keeps it from rolling around and sliding around. Another unique feature with these is on the back of the seat. They have little vented pleats. Uh, these are all factory things. All this stuff is factory stuff. For cooling? Cooling, and uh, like if you sit in it, you know, it goes back and forth it's easy. It doesn't make like an air bubble and hold it behind you. So it's very comfy. So even the leather ones do that. So neutral, clutch in, key one notch, pull the electric fuel pump. Then you reach over here, pull the choke back, Then I turn the key.
On behalf of Miller Motor Cars, we'd like to thank Mark Allen and his team at Rare Drive in New Hampshire for having us at their beautiful restoration shop today. We'd like to thank the Triple F Collection for their beautiful sale and business in the 1954 Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing. We're so excited for you to see your car for the first time. And thank you very much again, everyone, for watching, and especially those who informed all the uh, viewers today on all the great details meaning the people from Rare Drive for being so thorough and sharing their art and beauty and attention to detail for restoring world-class automobiles.